Welcome to TechLux. Please support our channel by leaving a thumbs up and subscribing. Who would have thought that Bill Gates, one of the wealthiest people on the planet, is also interested in agricultural land? With land the size of a small nation under their ownership, Bill Gates and his ex-wife Melinda are the largest private agricultural landowners in the United States. But why did Bill Gates want to purchase such a large amount of agricultural land? What are a few of its advantages? What other extremely profitable investments have Bill Gates made over the years? The truth is, most investors don't pay much attention to farms. But starting in 2021, a lot of people began to realize that Bill Gates not only owned a lot of agricultural lands, but also actively investing in them. There were too many barriers to, to entry in this industry generally, which is why agriculture was so unpopular. There weren't enough professionals working there. Most businesses were family-run, and there were plenty of other things to invest in. However, after the financial crisis in 2008, investment firms were desperate for alternatives to the standard bonds and gold to provide a safe haven for the capital. In order to store their money in a method that is similar to a bank account that is constantly appreciating in value, many people resort to farms. The Gates family owned and managed one of these financial groups, known as the Cascade Investment. Following the financial crisis, it is thought that the Cascade Investments began purchasing thousands of acres of agricultural land each year. By 2014, the company had amassed a land portfolio over 100,000 acres, spread across California, Iowa, Louisiana, and other states. Cascades began to significant investments in the middle of the decade, with its $520 million purchase for more than 61 properties from the CPPIB being the largest to date. The next year, Cascade paid $170 million for a 14,500 acres of agricultural land in the state of Washington. As a result, Bill Gates became the largest American private landowner. His land holdings numbers 240,000 acres, around the size of Singapore as a whole. His holdings are spread throughout 19 states in the U.S. with Louisiana, Arkansas, and Arizona being the three largest. Bill Gates had an AMA on Reddit in 2021 to promote his book named How to Promote a Climate Disaster. One Redditor asked specifically why he was purchasing so much land during the Q&A session. Many had believed it had anything to do with sustainable farming and climate change. Bill Gates, in response, refuted the idea, claiming that his investment group's decision to purchase farms had nothing to do with the environment. Given that he serves as the chairman of the Bill Gates Investment Group, he effectively owns and controls it entirely. So this was essentially a non-answer from Bill. The problem is that there are 911 million acres of agricultural land in the US that are controlled by numerous different investment firms. Even though Bill Gates is the largest owner of all of them, the market as a whole is still little more than a drop of the bucket. The majority of Bill Gates' farms are profitable. They produce meat, soybeans, maize, potatoes, and other foods that are essential to the American diet. Agricultural land features three ways to make money, rent, payments for crops, and land appreciation. You would be mistaken if you assume that Bill and Melinda were also cultivating crops there. Farmers that rent out this acreage are the ones who actually work on it. Bill may also be the owner of some of the crops, cattle, and other assets that provide income all of which have an extraordinary profit potential. You'd understand why Bill and so many other billionaires are investing in farms. If you were to contrast them with some of the other prevalent ways to invest, the U.S. stock market increased by 7.8% on average from 1992 to 2020. Real estate increased by 8.8%, U.S. bonds by 5.5%, and REITs by 9.94%. However, at the same period, agricultural land increased by a startling average of 10.85% annually. Aside from that, compared to other investment strategies, agricultural land is significantly less volatile. During this time, the agricultural land's volatility was roughly 6.84%. The percentages of all four stocks and gold were 16.9 and 14.8 respectively. Agricultural land is a terrific way to diversify a portfolio, which is another great reason why so many investors like Bill Gates invest in it. Every investor aims for diversification, and the best investors have portfolios that are extremely diversified. A few billion dollars spent on hundreds of thousands of acres of land may seem like a significant investment in the case of Bill Gates. However, you'll see that his net worth, which is over $134 billion, only accounts for a small percentage of his holdings. In other words, Bill Gates used the purchase of agricultural land to diversify his investment holdings. However, 
Bill Gates has also claimed that investments in farms have little to do with the environment. Contrary to popular belief, the Gates Foundation has sustainable farming as one of its top priorities. The Gates Foundation might be testing out sustainable agricultural methods on the agricultural land owned by Bill Gates. Given that the spokeswoman of Cascade Investments once told the media that Cascade is a strong proponent of sustainable farming, the idea is not outlandish. The population of the world is indeed expanding quickly. In various regions of Africa, a single couple may have an average of five to six children. In light of this, the world is also fast urbanizing, which has caused a sharp decline in the amount of agricultural land actually available for purchase in order to keep up with the rising demand of food as the world population begins to climb. It is almost vital to practice sustainable farming, which would increase food production significantly. The properties of these agricultural lands will make a lot of money from this in addition to helping the globe. When it comes to really creating new farming techniques, technology, and ideas, the Gates family will be at the forefront. Bill Gates didn't mention his investments were for the environment for a reason, which was since they were his investments, of course. The fundamental driving force behind it all will be sustainable, ecologically friendly manner in which the profit is produced. The overreaching theme in all of these investments is that Bill Gates is investing in the future. He thought that the pursuit of wealth would lead to the development of ideas that would be benefit the entire globe. Another significant investment are three vaccine businesses receiving $10 billion each. Bill then proceeded to increase access to vaccines throughout the world through the Gates Foundation. And before he knew it, his $10 billion investment had generated over $200 billion in economic value according to CNBC. When computers truly existed, Bill Gates rose the position of richest man on the planet. He is still carrying out the same actions with his farming investments now. He is going to pioneer some of these approaches because he understands that sustainable farming is the way of the future. When these sustainable practices become the norm, you can be sure that his investments will be worth much more than they are now. Although we frequently consider farms to be relics of the past, food is something that everyone needs, regardless of the time period. However, these investments in farms are not just available to the wealthy. For a very long time, only the very wealthy could genuinely afford to acquire agricultural land leaving the rest of us with no choice but to rent them out and make pitiful sums of money from them. But today, everything is very different. You can genuinely crowdfund investments in a variety of ways rather than just purchasing a complete product that you can keep. This only partially applies to items like stocks and securities, but nowadays, it also applies to land used for farming. You would continue to get a fair part of the profits, and any appreciation would likewise raise the value of the share. Real estate investments trusts or REITs are another option. That's it for today. What is your major takeaway from this video? Remember to subscribe to our channel and see more content like this in the future. Thanks for watching.